fucking pulled his ass down and fucking ripped him limb from limb. He wouldn't have done that though. That's the difference too. Like a, a dude wouldn't have got up on a in front of a bunch of like fucking ravenous fucking sun teens and started twerking. He wouldn't have did that. I say social media is to blame for the lawlessness. I think it's an, it's it's evil. That's what it is. You know, between TikTok and everything else, these kids, you know, want to try to be bigger and better than other kids. Mayor Lightfoot at the African American Mayors Association in Washington D.C. reflecting on how to reach kids as young as possible. All right. So we've got to look. When's the European American <laughs> Mayors Association, man? Where, where they having that at, man? Anybody know? You might tell me when that's happening. Yeah, it's in the building next to the United Negro College Fund. There's the United White Boy College Fund right after that. Okay. Try to be bigger and better than other kids. Mayor Lightfoot at the African American Mayors Association in Washington, D.C., reflecting on how to reach kids as young as possible. All right. So we've got to look at every possibility that we can to help support those babies and young children, no matter what the... <laughs> Babies. Right, the Kia babies. <laughs> the only baby I see was that fucking six month old on Brito, man, that got fucking killed by those fucking animals. Fags. <laughs> the only baby I see, man. What the fuck is she talking about? These people are sick. Think on how to reach kids as young as possible. All right. So we've got to look at every possibility that we can to help support those babies and young children, no matter what the circumstances that they're born into, so they don't become a statistic on the back end where we've got to say, well, how do we intervene? What's up, Miss Barry, man? I was going to say these? abortion, but <laughs> hi. What do you think about these babies, man? <laughs> they don't give a damn about the babies. They they promote abortion. But um, these kids are not babies. They big big kids. I had a, um, I think he was 14, a 14 year old. I said, you, you still a baby. He like, what? I ain't no baby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He's, yeah, he's, she, that, that was just, that was crazy. This lets you know the agenda though, that that's going on in Chicago. Baby, that'll take your life. Yeah. Cause she's saying this, exactly. she strategically used that word though. She using these nothing. These words that's coming out of her mouth are all strategic. Right. That's but, that's that's a move because yeah. of course all of our children are our babies, right? Yeah. Regardless. Did so, you? Did yeah, you hear what else she a, said? A dog whistle. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear what else she said? I the mayor or whatever the fuck she is. Now? As young as possible. All right. So we've got to look at every possibility that we can to help support those babies and young children, no matter what the circumstances that they're born into, so they don't become a statistic on the back end where we've got to say, well, how do we intervene? I swear if like God made that bitch out of leftover part. large gathering taking place can text the words Chicago kids. That's all one word to 21000. Now CPD says it is supporting this effort by community activists to keep parents informed about what their kids might be up to. Watch. <laughs> they, they need an app. Think about a yeah. community that needs an app to find out what their kids are doing. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't just tell these parents. The parents need to do a better job. They need a fucking app. They need people to call in and say, hey, your kids are down here fucking punching old ladies and fucking breaking windows and shit and fucking spitting on cops. Like the neighborhood app? Yeah, this this is this is just when you lose your dog. Yeah, it's it's you you can't really you can't do nothing with those people. You mm. can't. It's tough. Yes. Lock them up. Yo, I there was another clip that went viral in this this part of the of the war zone, right? Um, regarding the mayor and that uh same conference with the Sun mayors uh -huh. and uh. It was fucking mind boggling what she was saying. She was saying the truth about how crime is a crime is rampant, and the reason for it is that the state's attorneys and the judges are not doing their job. Now, now that she's leaving, she she's saying the truth. But when mm. she was mayor, she couldn't say any of that because yeah. they leaked 
a, a text a text message between her and Kim Fox, where Kim Fox was mad at her because she said that in the press conference, and Kim Fox was like, "What the fuck, bro?" Wow, uh, Kim Fox checked her. Kim Fox checked her ass, <laughs> and and, and uh, Lori folded like a check. Oh my god. This is Chicago's very own WGN News at 10. A heavy police presence and new security measures in downtown Chicago tonight, all part of an effort to... Look at all these fucking gliders that gotta go through a fucking... (laughs) (laughs) Wall just to get in a fucking park now, man. Yikes. Yikes. None of these people did anything to deserve this. They voted for this, so fuck them. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. They besides vote. <laughs> besides <laughs> vote. None of these people did anything to deserve this. Jesus Christ. And the Sun teens are not gonna come through here. They're just gonna like come through here or over here. <laughs> right. With the gun. Yeah, exactly. They're not gonna fuck. They're just gonna be like a hundred of them. They're just gonna bum rush this place. <laughs> Shit, this is Crazy. And new security measures in downtown Chicago tonight, all part of an effort to prevent a repeat of last weekend when mobs of teens ran through the loop, attacking pedestrians and destroying property. WGN's Jewel Hillary joins us live from Millennium Park. Jewel. Hi, good evening, Jackie and Ray. So far tonight, things seem to be peaceful in downtown Chicago, which is, of course, the way most people like it in an effort to keep people safe and to protect property. As you can see, so the- let's think about that. There's no suns down there, so it's peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's crazy. Is it, though? Wow. Hey, I, and I guarantee you, I, those gliders are happy going through that check line as long as they don't have to get jumped on by the sun teams. Oh, I yeah. bet. Oh, definitely, without a doubt. Yeah, it's a small price to pay. Man, to not get fucking punched in the head. Yeah. <laughs> um, or, or not have to like get your ass kicked in front of your girlfriend and shit. Like the hey, white guy, you get cut. Like let me get. Think about right. your white guy. You get. You get. Your shit beat out of you, or you getting yelled at some some fifteen year old fucking. No. Well, what about the son brother with his gladiator queen that they beat him and took his shoes, took her yeah. shit. They just they just de- they, they killed that Mexican girl for saying all lives matter in a park. Where yeah. they shot her from an overpass or something. Are you serious? Yeah. Damn. No, yeah. Said, that was, yeah, I forgot what that was. I, I remember that happened. This that was at, during Black Lives Matter. That was, a, I think it was in Ohio. Yeah, somewhere over there. Um, yeah. But but this is this is this is what um this is a small price to pay though. Like, cause you're somewhere you got some 15 year old with an IQ of like 65, like literally like talking cash shit to you in front of your lady, and it's like you gotta go home and fuck that woman, man. Like it's, but I would just just take wand me down and pat me down. Like in the park. So just take the beating. Right. right. Fuck it, guys. Just don't <laughs> fuck me up too bad. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be a pussy. Night, things seem to be peaceful in downtown Chicago, which is of course the way most people like it. In an effort to keep people safe and to protect property, as you can see, the barricades here along outside of Millennium Park are in place. And as you can also see, there is no lack of police downtown. Downtown Chicago appears relatively calm Friday night. It's a stark contrast from last Saturday night. Hundreds of teams crowded parts of the loop, many of them acting recklessly, putting dozens in harm's way. Shocking. 